Hello everyone, thank you for joining me here in the truck for a little truck talk this morning. I hope everybody's well. It's been a while since we had a, a little chat in the truck, but uh, some things I was reminded of this morning. I was thinking about uh, a gentleman years ago when I uh, gave him a testimony how uh, somebody had trusted Christ as their Savior. And the, the thing, what, what he came out of his mouth was... Well, I hope it sticks. And I said, what do you mean by that? And he said, well, I hope he you know, shows good fruit and works and all that stuff. I hope it sticks. And that stuck with me. That phrase stuck out like, wait a minute, that doesn't, that doesn't sound right. So, as we know, the order of operation of salvation, very it's spelled out very plainly in the scriptures. We know that God, he, he is love. He is true. His word is true. Okay? And his word never contradicts. It's our misunderstanding that twists the scriptures. But in Ephesians chapter 1, verses 13 and 14, in a paraphrase, it says, um, it says, after you've heard the gospel of your salvation, after you believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise until the day of redemption of the purchased possession. Right, so the day of redemption is means two two things. One is when we are naturally taken from this earth because we all have these bodies of flesh that will die due to the sin of the garden. These bodies of flesh fail us daily. These bodies of flesh are withering away. These bodies of flesh will fail the things of God. Praise be to God that we have the Holy Spirit on the inside that walks in all of God's ways. Salvifically, positionally, that's what God sees praise God for that. We are a dual-natured creature now. We are a new creature in Christ. In Christ. Okay? We are not a new creature in flesh. Because nothing changed of our flesh. Because our flesh is still capable of sinning. Just like you were before you were reborn or born again. Alright? You need to understand that. The body of Christ needs to understand this one biblical truth is that we still do indeed have the flesh nature to deal with, which is corrupt. Okay? So, when upon believing, trusting in Christ alone for your salvation, the death, the burial, and the resurrection, of course, the ascension on high, you are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Yes, the Holy Spirit sticks with you. It seals you. Okay? That is, those passages are, the, are there. Ephesians chapter 1, verses 13 20. Go read them for yourself. Don't take my word for it. You can see the logic that we cannot lose our salvation. Our, our salvation is secure. We are in the palm of God's hand. We are sealed with the Holy Spirit. All right. So, yes, that gentleman says, I hope it sticks. Well, he doesn't have the hope. Matter of fact, now I'm worried about that guy because he doesn't he doesn't know the gospel. He doesn't know the basic principles of Christ. And I see this day in and day out posted. Post I see posts on social media platforms where people make a phrase will come up with this idea. And you, you can tell that they're, they're either babies in Christ or they don't understand the Word of God or they've been listening or sitting on under, under a legalistic teaching. It saddens me greatly. That's why you, you will see sometimes I will come against Calvinism. I will come against Arminianism. I will come against false doctrine because the Bible is very clear. Very clear on the, on the subject of salvation. Very clear on the subject of uh, your growth after you are saved. 
all right? We have to get away from uh, placing unity over truth. And that's what I'm seeing. People are, people want to be loved. They want to, they want to be part of a family, a part of something, and they will sacri sacrifice truth to get it. And that is wrong. And that is uh, deathly wrong. Because you could lead somebody astray. Okay? You could lead you, you could lead, lead people down the path. You could lead your kids down a wrong path. From your misguided view of what how God operates and the, and, and the views of the Bible. Because you chose to believe tradition. You chose to believe these popular theologians in the past that's already uh, dead and gone. And have not searched the scriptures out for yourselves without commentary, without extra books and things that try to support your idea. Wipe all that stuff from your brain and start from scratch. And learn how to read the Bible in its proper context in which it appears. We all have presuppositions that we're dealing with. I still have mine. I still try to kick them, kick them to the side when I read the Bible. Okay? But salvation is very clear. And that gentleman says that, well, I hope it sticks. Well, he doesn't have to hope. Because the Holy Spirit seals the believer until the day of redemption. That is very clear, very plain in the scripture. But anyway, I hope this message blessed your heart today. And for those uh, that have never received or trusted Christ as their Savior, receive the free gift today. Trust the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Christ alone for your salvation. All right. I love you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.